Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Dear viewers, welcome back again. Um, you know, um, I'm, it's my lucky day today. We have Enamul Haq Chaudhry Bhai, mashallah, with me. You know, I met you so many, I've seen you so many times in Facebook, mashallah. And when I was talking to Ali Bhai, he said a lot of things about you. You guys are doing great stuff. You've got a great plan for our community. Uh, we just want to talk about those issues. I hope I say something. Hello to our uh, viewers. Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, and first of all, uh, I'd like to uh, thank you. Uh, to invite us, uh, only by and me, to come here and talk to you and speak to the, uh, the audience as well. And thank you very much uh, for listening. And inshallah, we'll talk about. Thank you. Uh, the younger generation. Before you came, we were talking to Olibay. Olibay, mm -hmm. you said this, there's a project called Link something. Link project, something. yeah, that's so from the UK, UK BCCI. Yeah. Okay. So, say for example, any, any young uh, star, they wanted to start their career, uh, they're struggling. Because at the moment, I know a lot of people, because there's a lot of opportunities in this country as well. And a lot of our young stars are actually getting higher job. But in case somebody are, uh, couldn't get any job and they're struggling, they can actually contact. They can, if they, they search on Google UKBCCI, they can uh, go to their website and they'll see there is a uh, button for the youngsters which um, uh, is called Link Projects. So that they can go there and they can check and they can also contact the office. And we can actually, um, in which subject they're actually looking for or, in, or in which field they're looking for a job. So actually the office can actually involve them, they can involve in, in, in the uh, sector, which sector they're looking for a job. So it's, it's, it's a fantastic idea you know, and also like, um, because as you probably know, India, what they do, if they see anybody is doing really well outside India, they actually, go, Indian government actually invite them. They tell them there is a job for you, there's opportunity for you in, in our country. So you are born, uh, you are um, Indian, in origin, so you should come to work for your own country. And that's what they do when they see somebody is really doing well. And in Bangladesh, they're not actually doing anything like that. So I think Bangladesh government should take this initiative and take those people that who is actually really good in, in terms of, um, say for example, somebody scientist and he's doing really well. So they should actually encourage them to take them back home, you know, because somebody working back home and somebody working in here, there's a lot of difference, a lot of barriers. But actually in terms of wages, even higher than this country in Bangladesh, you do know that because what they got, they got the wages, they got the full, mm, uh, full support with the, um, you know, a lot of people are actually, if somebody's they take from here, they get a lot of good, good support, like they get a, a, a car, they got a big bungalow or a, a, a um, um, you know, flats, and then they get uh, people, actually servants, who actually look after them. So they got more, much more facility than this country in back home. Like a lot of people are going from here to Dubai for work. They're getting better paid. They got better um, uh, opportunities over there. Is there anyone, I mean, I'm sure you've, the project's been there for a long time. Is there anyone been there and has, is there any success story? Uh, what happened, because we have actually planning, because f to do this project, we need some fund as well. So our chairman and also have a lot of, we have a lot of uh, high profile um, um, people actually are in the board of directors. So they actually, uh, we need to actually get some fund to do this project and that's our next uh, target. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually get um, um, the, those people are actually show interest, they wanted to go back home. We didn't find anybody yet until now that somebody have shown the interest they wanted to go and work in Bangladesh or they wanted to go for a trial. We have a trial period as well for oh three great. months or six months, you know, if it depends on them. And those three months or six months they want to go for, uh, or maybe somebody wanted to go for internship. So what you can do, we can actually sponsor them. They don't have to pay anything, they don't have to do anything. It will be sponsored from the UKBCCI. Oh, that's great. Mm. Um, you, know, look by, you know, there are a lot of, uh, third generation we're talking mm. about actually, there are a lot of successfully young men and women. Mm. You know, somehow we are disconnected with them. I feel. Do, do you think it's? Yeah, it I, it is. It is. Um, uh, first of all, uh, uh, Olibai just uh, told you uh, outside UK what we have uh, opportunity like Bangladesh and uh, Dubai, mm. and I will talk about inside UK what is opportunity for the younger generation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as you know that uh, we both represent Bangladesh Cricketers Association, which is uh, we uh, represent twelve thousand nearly 10 to 12,000 uh, Bangladeshi curry, house. curry houses in the mm. uh, United Kingdom. And we have a skilled shortage. And that 
can be fulfilled by our third generation. So you, 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 can, uh, you, you, you can say that how can because they are graduate masters and how can they do that? Yes, there is opportunity because the owner of the restaurant mostly are going to retire within five to ten years. All of them. Few of them already started last three, four, five years and nobody is taking over that business. And that's an entrepreneurial first step because it's already ready made is there, already business is there. They just finish the graduation or masters, they come to the restaurant, make it their way. Yeah. Not, the, not what we've been uh, um, uh, uh, managing, not like what we have been managing since uh, it started. They can do the different digital one, nowadays digital, digital marketing uh, uh, and all the uh, stuff which is coming. Yeah, they can do that and they will be very successful. Not only one or two restaurants, they, they, they can be owner of a chain restaurant. Because I think people are doing it because it's yeah, it's some, some already it's started come with yeah, innovative billion. idea. Yeah, there's you know. one side is mm. just owning the mm. business, and there is another owning the kitchen, uh, the kitchen, which is head chef, executive chef. <coughs> if you are graduate, doesn't matter. You have a skill. You are graduate. Then you come to the restaurant, take six, seven month training because it is very flexible when you employ a graduate mm. in a kitchen rather than without education, who hasn't got a education. So he can, ha ha in two, three years, he will be executive chef. And not only one restaurant, he can manage kitchen four, five, six restaurant at the same time. And that wages, what we are we just talking about 30,000, 40,000, it won't be like that. It will be more than that. So I encourage the young people, younger generation, come to the curry industry because we are struggling last six, seven years. And there is a plenty of opportunity when you finish. That's one side. And there is another side, which is the politics, mainstream politics. Doesn't, ma doesn't matter which party you go for. Go with the mainstream politics. And there is a plenty of opportunity in the mainstream politics. Because nowadays, the mainstream people, which is host country, English people, they don't, their in younger generation is not that much in politics. I think so we can take that opportunity. I think, uh, when, I think when we look at uh, leadership of your uh, group, when, when I see them, I, mm. I, I have a lot of hope for it because mm. you guys are young, you're broad-minded. That's very mm. something unique now. Mm. Probably yeah, it's changing. Yeah, my it's changing. Uh, mindset is changing. It. We, we have to. We need to mm. respect everybody's view and let's Absolutely. see what's good for us. Absolutely. That's you know, right. Let's test and see what's good for us. Mm -hmm. For that, like we have Nadia, we have other people coming out new and mashallah, mm -hmm. they're doing very, very well. Yep. Absolutely. They're representing and they are happy to say we are Muslim and they're doing that very well actually. Mm -hmm. So that generation, there's, you said main, mainstream politics and, 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 and the industry already there, they could take it over and they yep. change it around, change That's it right. around. Absolutely. You doesn't absolutely. have to be, yeah, absolutely. as it is, you can change it. Yes, yeah. no, you can no, change there's it a lot of examples, lo yeah, a lot yeah. of examples, like a lot of young people, they're actually running the industry, uh, running the curry houses. And as Anamba has said, this is very simple because you don't have to come and set up everything because it's already, it's already set up there. there, already there, yeah? What you have to do is just come here with your innovative idea, just with your innovative idea. And there's a like, uh, as you can see, the nowadays what happened, the trend is the grill food. Everybody is doing the grill food, yeah? And also uh, beginning the show, you actually mentioned about the, a lot of our people actually going to the different- By the way, Oliva is a celebrity chef, so Yeah, he knows. We have already, we have already <laughs> talked about it, <laughs> okay. yes, I, I, thank I you. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we have also uh, talked about the BC as well. Okay. And when it came to Link Project, then we have actually explained about the other thank one. You. So uh, basically, our people are Bangladeshi. Do you know that uh, there's a one guy in, in uh, my area, he actually runs 13 Thai restaurants, although he's being a Bangladeshi. <laughs> So, you know, those Thai restaurants, I've seen actually, I have in, in my, um, I have actually done a survey in my, within myself, you know, I've just ch checked everywhere and a lot of the people, I got uh, my, uh, one of my uh, nephew who's got a, a two Chinese in, in, in Cambridge. So, um, sorry, Thai, Thai restaurant. So I was, I really shocked because a lot of Bangladeshi are doing really, 
successful business in, 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 in different field like Thai or even grill house. There is a, one of my friend actually, uh, he lives in um, uh, near Colchester. He's got a um, uh, American, uh, American pie uh, yeah. restaurants, which is really successful. A lot of people are actually going there. And, and um, at the front, all these stuffs are like um, uh, American people or English, you know, doesn't matter, but the owner is Bangladeshi. So it doesn't really matter. You can come with your innovative idea because let me also th tell you, you, maybe you are graduate, yeah? Maybe you are doing uh, higher education, but when you go to the higher level of job, the more money you want, the more tax you pay. And why you are in business? Because business is a fantastic opportunity in being a boss. Because you just work for yourself. You don't have to work for somebody else. You don't have to listen to somebody. All you have to is just focus on the business and just get some innovative idea and run the way it is can be run, you know, and people like because you have to do some market research and you have to think like which are the popular dishes, which one going to be good for this this restaurant. I want to bring a new theme. And if your first um, business is successful, then you can do a chain of restaurants. You can do a lot of other branches, you know. And it's nowadays it's like running a curry. So you don't even need need Bangladeshi people, or you can run by anybody. You just need one main chef who could be a Bangladeshi, you know but you can get other people from other sectors. Now, because we are having a really tough time because of the staff crisis, a lot of Eastern European are working in the curry house. Some of them become a tandoori chef now. Some of them become <laughs> a, a, you know, a cook. And, and so they, they, they're still working. only two, three years ago. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure somehow he will learn how to yeah. eat pan as well. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yes, yes, why not? Um, yeah. and I know add to Oli Bhai, just, hey, a, just, a, uh, just a one sentence, mm. which is, when you go to the business like mm. curry house, mm you are going to help the community as well. Absolutely. The, local, the curry, curry house is very much involved with the local community. It's not just Bangladeshi community, it's the mainstream community, which is host community. That's why we are very popular. Bangladeshi curry, whichever you call Indian, Bangladeshi, they are very favorite to the uh, British people because they help the community at the same time as well. Because average, uh, average, say for example, in the village one, because I, I live outside London, about 170 miles outside London, it's called Swindon, which is Wiltshire. And every village ha at least have a one Bangladeshi restaurant. And that restaurant is investing to, the, to their young children, like a various uh, swimming club, your club, football club, rugby club, they, what they do? They fundraise that. Mm, that's very Every year, four, five, mm. six, seven times. And those money goes to the community. So you are not just making your money yourself. You are investing. I think it's a nice way to connect with people. That's right, connect to the you people. You know, I think this is the something missing. You do, you do guys, I'm sure we do charities as well. Yeah, what are we charities in the UK? Yeah. Because there are a lot of people. No, yeah. Because they're doing. We've got a Every social restaurant. corporate responsibility as well. Yeah. And yeah. when you think about social corporate responsibility, um, like a lot of our young generation, what I've seen to them, they actually work hard. They go 9 to 5 job or 9 to 6 job, what, you know, whatever the time. And then afterward, they doesn't want to do the second job. Second job means it's not a job. You, you have some corporate so social responsibility, yeah? What it is like, basically, because you have worked hard all your life, you are doing a lot of things, but you also need to come back to the community and give something back to the community. Now, this is what we are doing. What I've seen in our generation, that our people are really, really hardworking because they work uh, so hard in the restaurants, and then they come and join with this lot of social organizations. And they're trying giving their free time to the organization, and that's what we do. And we're trying to give something back to the community. And uh, this is got to be within our young generation as well, because I have seen a lot of young generation that doesn't want to come and involve with the um, uh, lo uh, social organizations or in a any organization. As a number have said, it, it could be could have, have some sort of like a political interest. If you have a political interest, do come and join with your political party, local party, any party, doesn't matter. But uh, do represent the Bangladesh, you know. Of course. So this is very important. You know, by your, um, can I ask you something else? Mm. Your, your party is ruling the country now. Mm. MashaAllah, that's good. They're not doing bad. So do you think the struggle we have, especially in the curry industry, so uh, you are the main person, you know how it works. So mm. I'm sure you're doing a lot of stuff for uh, Oli Bay and others. Uh, yeah, because uh, that's a uh, thing is there is a government policy as you know that 
it started with the manifesto, election manifesto, then it go on the uh, total uh, parliamentary time which is 5 years. Yeah. So, it is already decided what the 5 years will be like immigration, economics, finance and the other, other, uh, uh, other things. So, it is uh, so, but still you can give a shout. If you do not do shout, then nobody will listen. So, we are shouting at the moment. We started last three, four, we started long time different way, but especially the uh, staff shortage, which is last four, five years, mm. we have been uh, lobbying very forward. intensively, 24 hours we are knocking the door, but there will be a time when the door will be open. I am sure they will be wise enough mm. to know mm. 5 billion pounds there. Yeah, that is yes. a, yeah, for, for a big yeah. amount. Yeah, it is. No, no, absolutely, because uh, recently we actually wrote to the government and um, uh, you know this agriculture um, uh, side in this country, they, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. they need, s uh, they actually uh, need 750,000 people from outside UK. So, they are trying to get people from uh, Europe or other part of the world. But that industry it's like, I don't know, agricultural industry, I don't know it's bigger than curry industry, I don't think so. But this curry industry is, is much more because it's the fourth largest industry in this country. So, uh, for this industry, I think we will need to do something. Uh, this 4.5 billion industry is not a small, it's not a <laughs> joke. Trust no me, no because it's I, mean I say, yeah. Establishing something is very yeah, difficult. absolutely. Plus 12,000 curry houses. McDonald's, Kentucky Fry, every uh, count, all together, all these high street fast food, all together only five or 6,000. Not even 12,000. That's curry houses are 12,000 because in my town where I'm from, it's Stevenage, there is a 32 curry houses. Now, a lot of them closed down and there's probably about 14 or 15. But there's only one McDonald's, one Kentucky Fry. So every town, every like m m medium to sort of small to medium sort of town got minimum five to six curry houses. Those curry houses become so popular I I in a time, you know. A lot of people actually open their door, you know. Even like the street I'm from, the old town high street, used to have eight curry houses. Wow. Now, you know, we've got six, two shut down just recently, last two years, because of the staff crisis. And a lot of b businesses are actually shut down. And these are very genuine cases, actually. Yeah, absolutely, genuine cases. absolutely, yeah. yes. We've yeah. got five minutes left. Yeah, and there is um, one, 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 one thing just to uh, add with this. Uh, mm -hmm. When we say that, uh, when we go to the mainstream uh, job, mm -hmm. any job, official job, nine to five, is not a nine to five anymore. Mm. It's 9 to 10, 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because when you do the 8 hours in the mm. office, mm. then you have to come back home and you have to do another 3, 4 hours for the next yeah. day. Next but day in curry study. house, it's not only 4, uh, four to 5 hours. Mm. Because it's completely, our, uh, our hours has been changed. It's changed, it's reduced. We, we don't open mm. during the lunch time. Most mm. of the restaurant doesn't open during the lunch time. Lunch time so yeah. just only evening from 5 to 10 o'clock. Because now is mm. restaurant, only the city restaurant, which is um, uh, established in city, this, uh, they, they open until 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. but most of the restaurant is closed by 10 o'clock. So, 5 to 10, only 5 hours you are work, working hard. Mm -hmm. Just only 5 hours out of 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So, if you compare with the job in a restaurant and compare with the job in an office, it's a double. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, true. And also, some of the youngsters I have seen, you know, they see this current industry as a negative way. And, and the the we have an idea of back style, I mean mm. the old style probably, yeah, it's all yeah. changed isn't it? Yeah. Okay, you, you have uh, one minute to say something to our youngsters and viewers, please. Okay, to the youngsters, uh, you need to have passion, dedication and commitment in your life to become a successful. Uh, I didn't success in one day, I have to work so hard, I have really worked so hard and then I failed as well and then I actually learned from my uh, mistake, I learned from my failure and then I become a successful. So, uh, I request you all and um, uh, work hard, become, be passionate and do something uh, for yourself and for the community. Thank you. And um, Rupai, please, you have one minute. For yeah, thank you very much uh, for listening um, and uh, I would like to, you are our asset. Absolutely. The young generation is our asset and we do want to lose our asset. So, please, there is a two way, one is which is already we talked about the curry industry, there is huge opportunity there or you can go to the politics as well. So, if you need any help, there is a plenty of organization like Bangladesh Cutters Association, UKBCI, 
and other organization talk to the talk to them on there is a lot of mentor there out there please come and talk to them and inspired by them and there is a only one thing inspiration is a success thank you, know, you. you know, great to have you guys honestly we have a lot of respect yeah. for you guys thank you for having us you, you guys are doing so much stuff honestly okay. and people knows you got what you're doing i yes, think sir. they'll be more mm -hmm. appreciated can i ask Bolivia before we go i know you go to channel s you go sorry not channel s you go to sky and everything I know it's a small channel you came to. Tell me your feeling. How is it there and here? I know we're also trying to it's grow. Like it's, 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 it's when I first went to Sky, I was very, very nervous because uh, this is one of the first mainstream um, um, live show I actually attended. But I'm quite used to it now because I've been attended more than uh, nearly 50. Last Sunday, the New Yorker Times actually took my interview for about... Um, um, one and a half hours they took my interview so which is going to be uh, coming very soon and, and that is something that I, I become uh, quite confident now because uh, at the beginning I was very shy I was very nervous but it's, it's getting there now so Alhamdulillah I always try to represent my country I always try to represent uh, Bangladesh as a whole like you know what we are doing as Bangladeshi if I see some Bangladeshi as get being successful I really feel proud honestly and that's what uh, I am I have see, if I see a Bangladeshi somewhere and he's, he's in he's struggling. Say, for example, when I go a lot of troubling, I do a lot of troubling. And if I see a Bangladeshi or if I see a Muslim that working through, then I feel proud. Oh, there's another Muslim guy going, or there's another Bangladeshi going. And I, I, when I see them, I really feel proud. So this is how I am, you know. Great. Thank you. Thank you for your time, anyway. Dear viewers, um, and I have really a lot of time for you guys. I want to see you again, inshallah. Uh, young man, if you guys have any question, I know there's no time for us today, inshallah. Mm. You could go to my Facebook and give it to me. I'll give it to these guys. Mm. And um, and especially for viewers, if you said anything wrong, please do forgive us. And um, yeah. stick, stay with us, inshallah, next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you. Thank you.